Hi everyone, welcome back to Nuskrit. So let's solve today's daily read code challenge, which is the smallest string starting from leaf. So let's try to read the problem statement first. So we are given a root of a binary tree where each node has a value in the range 0 to 25. You can assume 0 means A and 25 means Z, right? So now we need to return the lexicographically smallest string that starts at the leaf of this tree and ends at the root. So which means like whatever string that we will be considering, we will start it from leaf until the root. So DBA is one string, EBA is one string, DCA is one string and ECA is one string. Now as a reminder, any shorter prefix of a string is lexicographically smaller. So say for example, if at any point in time, let's say you have a, AB. So AB would be lexicographically smaller than ABA, right? Now a leaf node is a node that has no children, you already know that. So just uh, try to understand that in this particular question, we are really not given characters node, right? The nodes are still integer, like 0 represents A, 1 represent B. So while we will be having 1, so we will try to consider it as B, right? Let's take one example and let's try to understand how can we exactly solve this. So here I have taken a tree of uh, character nodes but please try to assume that here it's not z in the in the original array it would not be z it would be like 25 right it would be 1 it would be like 3 okay it would be 0 okay but for the simplicity i'm taking the character nodes only right now what we have to do is basically there will be four different strings right b d z then d b z then a d z and then c d z out of these four strings, the smallest is this one. So this would be my answer, A, D, Z, right? This is a simple question. We have to return the simple one. So it's very simple. So what we will do when we will be traveling from root to leaf, we will try to keep a current string, right? So initially the string would be Z. When I will come over, the string would become B, Z. When I will come over, the string would become B, B, Z. Similarly, when I will go back, this character will not be there. Then when I will go over there, the string would become D, B, Z. And I will try to keep one smallest string so far. So whenever I will get one string, I will try to compare it with the global uh, variable that I'll be taking, which is the smallest string, right? Let me just uh, take the variables and uh, try to iterate over this, right? So what I'm saying is I'm saying that I'll be taking one variable, which is the smallest string so far, right? So this is initially empty because initially I don't have any smallest string, right? And there will be one variable which I will be taking current string. Initially, this is also empty, right? So now what I'll do, I'll start from the root node. So I'll see, okay, root is not null. So just add this Z to this current string. So my current string would become this Z. Now go to the left. Okay, again, the root is not null. So add this B to the current string. So add this B to the current string. So current string would, would become BZ. Okay, nice. Now let's go to the left. So now left is again not null. So I will add this B. I will add this B to the current string. So the current string would become B, B, Z. Okay. And now at this point in time, you can see that root dot left and root dot right are null. So if, if this is a leaf node, now it's the time to compare your smallest string so far with the current string, right? So what I'll, what I'll do basically, I'll try to uh, calculate which of them is the smallest. So initially, the smallest string is empty, so this would be your current answer because it's the smallest one, right? Like initially, your current smallest string is empty, so I'll assign this current string as an answer only, right? Great. Now, from here, we will now traverse back to the tree, right? So what will happen? This root once again will go back because when I was here, I just called the function to the left of this tree, right? Now the right part is still left. So now I am, I have, I have come back to this node. So when I will be come, when I will be coming back to this node, obviously when I was here, the current string was BZ, right? Because this is a state which we are maintaining in the recursive call. This is a variable which we are maintaining in a recursive call. This is not a global variable. This is a part of the recursive call. So when I was here, your current string was BZ. Now what will happen when this root, when this root will go to the right. So now because this is not null. So add this D to the current string. So when I will add this D to the current string, the current string would become DBZ. And at this point in time, your left and right is null. So because left and right both are null, so just try to compare your smallest string. So your smallest string is this BBZ and current string is DBZ. So your smallest string is already smaller, right? So this will not be updated. 
right this will not be updated and smallest string so far would remain as bbz only great now let's go back because uh, if, if even if you try to call to the left and right we won't be getting anything so let's go back as soon as you go back this d would be removed now once again just go back because you have already done you are already done with left and right call so you just go back so when you will go back at this point in time your current string was z nice now when you were at z so you called your function to the left now left is already done so now you will process the right part of this tree so you will go to this so now you are at a non null node because this d is not null so you will add this d to this z right so this d would be added to this z so your current string would become dz now your left is not null so let's go back sorry let's go to the left and you can simply again your current node is not null so just try to add this a to this dz and your current string would become a dz so as soon as you come to this node your left and right is null right as and because your left and right is null which means it's a leaf node and because it's a leaf node so try to compare your smallest string with the current string so your smallest string is bbz and your current string is a dz which means your smallest string will be updated to a dz hence this smallest string so far would become a dz right and now because your left and right are null so you can go back from here so you once again you will come back to this d and because when you were at this d your current string was a dz right because it's, it's a recursive uh, it's a it's it's the variable which we are maintaining in the recursive call right now once again you will go to the right because you have you have not still processed the right part for this d and as soon as you come to this d so you will see okay this is a non null node so you will add this c over here so your current string would become c dz and now because it's a leaf node so you will try to compare your smallest string with the current string your smallest string is already smaller right your smallest string is already smaller hence you will go back now so you will go back you will go back and you will go back so eventually whatever your smallest string is there that would be the answer right i hope you have understood this part so this is really easy right now let's go back and try to code this particular thing so what i'll do i'll simply say okay just call one function solve and i'll pass root and i will pass current string as empty string and i will take one global variable let's say string a uh, smallest uh, string which is initially empty right and i will finally return this is smallest string only because this is a global variable where i will be maintaining my maintaining my answer and now let's write the function so private void solve and let's try to maintain this tree node root node and then this string as current string okay nice so now what we will do we'll have a basic check that if root at any point in time becomes null we can simply return back from there otherwise what you do just update your current string so basically you will add the current character to the current string right so when you are at, at this a right and when you will go from this a to this b so your string is not your string should not be formed as ab this should be like ba right ba i hope you are getting this point so what i'll do i'll add the current character because now your current value the root dot value is an integer i need to convert it into a character so what i'll do basically i'll say take the root dot val take the root dot val which is an integer right which is an integer add this a to this so that thus this will be like a kind of sky value and then i will basically convert it into char okay so this is one value right and i need to type cast it to char so that this zero gets added to a a will be broken into sky value say for example 65 uh, sorry 97 right so 97 plus 0 because initially root let's say if root dot well is zero right so zero plus 97 would be 97 and then this 97 would be converted to char and as soon as you do now you just add you just add your current string to this current string so far right and now your current string is updated and now just have one check that if root dot left is equals to null and and root dot right is also null which means you are at the leaf node so if you are at the leaf node just check if your smallest string is empty or your smallest string just compare it to the current string so if this greater than 0 which means your current string your current string is smaller like if your smallest string that you are maintaining so far it's it's bigger than your current string that means you need to update your string so smallest string would become your current string right 
this is a simple thing so if your if your smallest string that you are that you are maintaining so far if it's bigger than or if it's greater than your current string so you will update it and now just call the same function to to the left and right so call this solve function to the root dot left with your current string and you will call this function to the right as well with your current string and this is it so let's try to run this once hopefully this should be submitted okay there is one error okay it's a string now let's run it once again and it's accepted let's try to submit this and this got submitted right so now if i talk about the time and space complexity so basically uh, there will be let's say there are n number of nodes first of all and because there are n number of nodes so uh, for for every like for every recursive call we are basically concaten concatenating two strings right and concatenation is a big of n operation right so for n number of calls in the worst case scenario we are like we are conca concatenating for every recursive call so this would be n square the time complexity will be n square and the space would also be big of n square reason is for every recursive call we are constructing a string right so uh, every time we are forming a new string so and and in the worst case scenario the the tree might be a skewed tree right so what will happen there will be n recursive calls and for each recursive call we will be forming one string which is nothing but n square okay so this is all i think for my side for this video and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye